Good afternoon. This is your girl, Lady J. Okay. Today is your wake up and win Monday. Now, I'm supposed to do this thing early on today, but of course, um, kind of woke up kind of late. <laughs> My sister had to get to work. But anyways, I want to talk about you. Okay. I want to talk about what are you doing in the midst of this pandemic? Okay. Um, I come to an understanding that this pandemic has caused a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, division and separation. And we can look at this thing in a negative form. We can look at it as the worst thing ever happened, which I'm pretty sure is not the worst because the worst is coming. Um, but we can look at this thing as if we don't matter or nothing's ever going to work for me um, because of our situation a lot of us has been uh, had to downsize whether it be our cars or our homes um, some of us have lost our homes our jobs <laughs> um, a lot of us are still getting unemployment while still trying to find another one um, and it's kind of hard during this time. And I, and I can say that because um, the job that you had might have paid you or might have paid you. Loud, hard for no reason. I'm just saying. But that job may have paid you pretty good money. But now you got to look for something that may be paying you little or none. And you're wondering how you're going to survive. And uh, many of us have been challenged in our relationship and in our marriage. Because before, you just wake up and you just go. And of course you miss each other throughout the day, but you're not with each other all the time. So this pandemic has caused even some couples to split up. Or even for a lot of them, they're here for divorce and even just having some troubled waters in your marriage. But all that being said, it's just a test. It's th that's it. That's all, that's all that Lady J can tell you. It's just a test. It's, as hard as it looks. And I would say looks, looks can be deceiving because a lot of us already feel like we already defeated. But you're not. And I just come to encourage you that all is not lost. And whatever happened was supposed to happen. And that's how I'm looking at my everyday life. I'm not going to be stressed out over something that I have no control over. Um, but what I can tell you is that I can look at it from a different point of view. Um, everybody has their point of view of how they see this pandemic. And many may feel like, what the hell, I lost my job and this, is, this and that has happened to me. I might as well just give up and just throw in the towel. And then there's many of us that's going to push this mountain that's in our way. We're going to leap over hurdles of faith and still trust in the process. So this is not the time for those who seem like it's all over for them. And like, it might seem like the worst has hit your household relationship or marriage. But listen, it's not over. It's not over at all. And um, I want you to keep grinding. I want you to keep having your faith. I want you to keep believing in yourself. And uh, you don't need nobody to believe in you. You just need to just step out and believe in yourself. This pandemic is not about an us moment. <laughs> it's an individual moment. Because not everybody is going to hop on your wagon, hop on your train, and go where you're going. In most cases... You're supposed to go alone. So, I'm just here to just encourage you to not give up. Um, and there used to be a time when we was like in the fast lane. Before pandemic hit, we was in the fast lane. We was up moving around, doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, but since pandemic has hit, it has really slowed us down and in a way, it's a great way of getting us to see 
ourselves. Because since this pandemic has hit and has really slowed us down in everything that we do, this really gives you the opportunity and the time to sit back and reevaluate your life. Look at you. Not everybody else. Not look, don't, don't look at what everybody else is doing. Because that's none of your business. But look at yourself. What is it that you can do? What, what is it that you could improve on? Um, and like I said, a lot, of, a lot of us is going through some challenging moments. Um, so whatever your challenge may be, relationship, marriage, job, children, whatever it may be, um, that challenge may be, it is a, it is a wake up call that maybe it's not so much that they need to change, but we need to change. Ouch. <laughs> because it's so easy to point fingers at somebody else and say, it's your fault why this didn't work. And it's your fault that I left. And it's your fault that we are divided. And, and it's your fault that the kids acting like this, but maybe it might be just your fault. Because if we don't take the time out to look into ourselves, but this is a great time to look into yourself. But I look at this Pandemic as uh, this pandemic as an opportunity, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to see myself. You know, no point fingers. All me. Um, this is a great opportunity to start your business, to write that book. This is a great opportunity to travel. I'm just saying. Okay, so like I said, everybody has their own view of how they see this pandemic, how they see what's going on around this world. But you got to remain positive, okay? And look at this as an opportunity, as a stepping stone, as a door opener, as a blessing. Because through it all, if you have faith, I'm talking about if, because a lot of us just just have a lot of doubt and you and, and then you wonder why you got so much hell in your household because you invited hell there um you have to remain positive no matter how negative it may look what do you got to do with that because you can have a positive lifestyle and live in a negative environment i've been there and done it and still doing it and it could be on your job it could be in your home, you know? So there'll be no excuses here. So pick yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Get, get that mind together. Know what you want and go after it. Use this time as an opportunity once again to break free because Lady J is definitely in this moment, the any day now, like turning a page of a book. Huh. I won't be a nine to five. I'll be live at five. Ah, glory. See, y'all didn't catch that, but it's okay. I caught that right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, Lady J crazy, but I keep mine's wheel because I have faith. Ain't nothing going to stop me. Okay? Ain't nothing going to stop me. No pandemic, no coronavirus, no people, no job. Can nobody stop me? All part that can stop me is, is myself. All part that can stop you is yourself. So let's get up, shake off that negative energy that you have, release it back into the universe. Okay? Give it up. Let it go. Whatever's been holding you back, let it go. Forgive people. Because that's one of the things that's been keeping you bound. Can't forgive nobody. You probably can't forgive yourself. But let's get it together, okay? Let's, let's make this stuff work for us, okay? This is our time to shine. This ain't no pity party. We want, we're going to be one, I'm walking around here with a whole bunch of tissues and crying over some spilled milk that you can get up yourself. I'm just saying. I'm here to encourage you. In a good way. 
Because I want to see you win. I don't want to just win by myself. I want to see all of us win together. Prosper together. Be in good health and wealth. So don't, so don't get so stuck on what you're going through. Because you can, because easily you can become the artist and draw a door to walk through unbelievable blessings. See, 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 y'all don't get it. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't get it. I just said it. You become the artist. Because the artist has a vision and they think things clearly and then they put it on paper. And you can draw your own exit, your own door. You can leave that job. You can leave that relationship. You can leave that marriage if it's not good and it's not healthy. All you got to do is just draw that door. And open it and move forward. And some of us just lingering around hoping for change. No, you be the change. Step in your purpose. Just because everybody else's business is closing down and what they got to do with you? It has nothing to do with you. They might be closing theirs, but you open up yours. We are open on today. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to stir up your faith. So don't look at somebody else's circumstances, somebody issues, somebody else's problems and almost feel like, well, if God didn't do it for them, how is he going to do it for me? And they're in the same situation. Totally two different people. That's how. And so I hope that this was an encouragement to you. I just felt led to just say something encouraging to uplift you, to build you to add value to you because we got to be careful of people that we allow to take away who we are. Don't let nobody downsize you. Instead, upgrade you. Come on, somebody. Lady J is upgrading. All the way around. Mental, physical, spiritual. Because I'm not a religious person. And believe me, I'm in my spiritual. Huh? I'm always waking up looking and expecting something great to come. I'm always looking at my bank account. Looking through my email, hoping that somebody would just email me and say, Hey, I want to invest in you. I've seen you here on Facebook and you be, I like I like your style. Hmm? You gotta wake up looking. Wake up expecting. How you gonna be speaking and ask for something but then don't wake up looking for it? Then don't go looking for it. Don't check your emails. Don't check your bank account because, hey, I'm, I'm looking for a wealth transfer going to my... I, hey! See, y'all see y'all playing. I'm serious. I, I, I do a lot of things. After my 9 to 5, I go home. I'm working on my success. And every day I'm looking for an opportunity. So, I hope that this was a blessing to you again. It's the girl, Lady J. Remember to live out loud, to love hard, and to laugh like you don't have no problems. Because, baby, you ain't got no problems when you are the solution. So let's get it. Let's make it happen. Okay? You have control. You have the key to open up unbelievable doors that no man can shut. So this is your time to shine. So let's shine together. Meet you at the finish line. Peace.